Bonjour tout le monde, comment ça va? Today we are going to see the subjunctive when you want to express the uncertainty, possibility and doubt. In the first sentence, il est certain que Nathalie pourra venir. It is certain that Nathalie will be able to come. So you have a sentence with two clauses, but in the first clause you're using an expression that says that it is certain. So there is no doubt, there is no uncertainty, therefore you will use the indicative and here in this context we use the future. But you will not use the subjunctive here because the, the expression expresses certainty. However, il n'est pas certain que Nathalie puisse venir. It is not certain that Nathalie will be able to come. In, in that case, il n'est pas certain que Nathalie puisse venir. In the first clause now, the expression is negative and expresses uncertainty. Therefore, you will use the subjunctive in the second clause. Notice as well that you have two different subjects here, which is very important. To be able to use the subjunctive with those expressions, you need an expression that is of uncertainty, possibility or doubt that will trigger the subjunctive but you also need a second condition and that is to have two different subjects, two verbs, two different subjects. Otherwise you will need to use uh, the infinitive. In the other example, il est possible que Nathalie puisse venir. It is possible that Nathalie will be able to come. Again, here two clauses, but in the first clause, it's still uncertain. It expresses even more the possibility. So it's not certainty, just like in the first sentence. It is the possibility. When you have an expression that expresses possibility in the first clause, in the second clause, you will need to use the subjunctive as well. You will also need to use two different subjects to be able to use the subjunctive. Il, je, je suis sûr que les étudiants font leur devoir. I am sure that students do their homework. So now here, I am sure there is no doubt. It's not uncertain. Therefore, again, here, you will use the indicative. And here we're using the present tense because in the first clause, there is no doubt. There is no uncertainty. You are sure. However, je ne suis pas sûr que les étudiants fassent leur devoir. I am not sure anymore that students do their homework. Therefore, here, je ne suis pas sûr. Now, you, have, you are doubting, right? You don't know anymore. You're not sure anymore. Therefore, now you will use the subjunctive. Again, you have two different subjects. Very important. Je doute que les étudiants fassent leur devoir. I doubt that students do their homework. Now, obviously, you're not sure at all because you are doubting. So, if you have an expression of doubt, you will use the subjunctive in the second clause. Again, you need to have two different subjects. Otherwise, you'll need to use the infinitive. So, to summarize here, to be able to use the subjunctive with those expressions, you will need to two uh, sentence with two clauses. In the first clause, you need an expression that expresses uncertainty, possibility or doubt. And you also need to use two different subjects. The subject of the first clause must be different than the subject of the second clause. Here, a very important point, you have three verbs here that you want to remember. Je pense qu'il est gentil. Je crois qu'il est gentil. J'espère que nous irons bientôt à la plein, à Paris. Sorry. I think that, I believe that, I hope that. With those three expressions, you will not use the subjunctive. You will use the indicative. You see here we have a regular present tense and here we have a future. However, if those expressions are negative, you are, you may, some, so some textbooks say you should use the subjunctive, but actually if you, you can use a subjunctive or not, 
it's going to depend if you, um, your sentence is formal or informal. What you want to remember is that the way they are here, je pense que, je crois que, j'espère que, you do not use the subjunctive. If it's ne if those expression and sentences are negative, you may use the subjunctive or you may use the indicative. Same thing with the if the sent those sentences are questions. So it is very important because sometimes students think that as soon as you have a que, right, you use the subjunctive, but it is not true. It depends of this expression. It depends what is this the expression before that que. If the expression express certainty, uh, you do not use the subjunctive. And you do not use the subjunctive with those three verbs. So you want to remember here, je pense que, je crois que, j'espère que, do not trigger the subjunctive in uh, the affirmative mode here. Uh, in the affirmative sentences. If you have, if those sentences are negative, you may use the subjunctive. If those are questions, you may also use the subjunctive. So, voila. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope it helped and I will see you soon. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. À bientôt.